All right, fucker. Don't overthink this. It'll drive you nuts. It's pretty much why nobody likes these shocks, because um, there's so much tuning involved to it. And there's so many different spring rates and oils that can be used and for combinations and whatnot. Um, every RC is going to be different. So my spring rates could be different than yours um, or anyone else's for the matter. Um, right now I have medium soft and a small soft spring um, medium soft is under the piston and then the small spring will be inside the tube just place the spring in there it's in there right now now you don't need to fill this up all the way um, with oil um, you can do it just up until maybe the bottom of the where the threads start inside the tube or halfway would be good I usually just fill it halfway or just to the top of the spring that's inside the tube um, these things really don't need much oil in them so that's why I say halfway is good uh, right now I'm just using 45 weight for my front shocks um, do whatever you think is best light oils in the front of the vehicle heavier oils in the back If you fill it uh, halfway or up to the thread lines where it begins, um, obviously some of it's going to seep out when you're bleeding it. Um, if you look on um, the bottom of these threads, you see the little slot groove. It's done on both sides. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that groove is where the oil bleeds out from. So that right now is filled. It's probably hard to see, but it's filled halfway. Just take that down. Start threading it a little bit. You want to get the threads just to right above the o-ring so that there is very little in there and when you start to bleed it uh, the oil will come out what I do is I'll take this so that it stops it from spinning around as I'm tightening it a little wrench and I'll just compress it all the way down and then start thread start threading it start threading the cap now these shocks come with an extra oil ring so I just actually changed the oil ring on this one for when I'm doing this process for you see there's still very little gap in there and the o-ring is actually what seals it so if you have a good oil, oil ring you know it'll be sealed now if you can see when I'm compressing it my shock end comes very close to the bottom of the cap Now that's good, because you can see there's good rebound. Now here's the thing, 
if you over tighten that cap you know what's going to happen is that it might not rebound too good and it might start pushing the piston out that's the problem where a lot of people happen is because they're not leaving enough gap between the cap and the uh, tube you really don't want to crush that uh, o-ring out so there should just be just a little bit there and the o-rings if you have a good o-ring it's not going to leak so right there is a good shock hope that helps